Hi, this is Padla with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a dream, an end days, last days dream from one of our YouTubers. This is fascinating and scary. Now, before I start, I want to thank this young lady. I, I don't have the freedom to use her name, but I want to thank her for sharing this dream. Listen, this is her first time sharing a dream with us. So encourage her, you guys. This is the dream my daughter had in her own words. Now, let me preface this. She is 14 years old. This is how detailed these two dreams are. Listen. She had two parts to her dream on two different days. Day one. We, as a family, were outside of our apartment barbecuing. It was a normal day as usual, nothing special. Then suddenly, there was this mist. It was a mist-like thing coming from behind the apartment. From that mist came these gigantic, weird creatures. They were enormous and unlike any animals on earth. They were running all over the roof of the apartment. This unspeakable terror filled my heart and we, my family, hurried and got into our van and drove off to get away from them. There was chaos all over the streets. These creatures were chasing everyone on the streets and cars were jamming and crashing as people were panicking. We picked up a little boy on the way and we dropped him off somewhere. We couldn't move very fast because we got stuck in traffic. So we got out of the van and ran into a building. It looked like a hotel. The dream ended there. The second dream happened a couple of weeks later. Like it was continuing from the first dream. In this dream, all of a sudden, we found ourselves on the sidewalk. We didn't know what happened to our van or my mom and one of my sisters. I was with my dad and two of my other sisters. The same chaos from the dream continued. From the first dream, the same in the second dream. My dad was check, was checking the cars to see if anything was open so we could get inside and take off. There was so much chaos all over the streets and the same giant creatures, listen, the same giant creatures from the first dream were present in this one too, wreaking havoc all over the place. Well, finally, my dad found a truck. He found it unlocked, so we hurried up, got in, and as I was struggling to close my door, this gigantic creature jumped on top of our roof and ran forward. We could feel the truck vibrating as it was running on top of it. It was so real. It was all so vivid. I mean real. Then I heard a big boom. We heard this boom behind us and we saw fire everywhere everywhere all around us. We started driving, but there was fire burning everywhere, and I could literally feel the heat. It was so real. I never, I have never seen that much fire in my life. I was so terrified and so scared. I kept touching my skin and pinching. I was pinching myself to see if this was real or if it was a dream. But I could feel my skin like I was awake in real life. <laughs> the terror I was feeling was so bad. I kept asking God to end it. If it is a dream, take us out. If it is not, <sighs> oh boy. Anyway, we all felt like that. We all felt like the rapture was going to happen any moment at that time. I was really worried for my dad though because he's not saved. 
I had dreams that always seemed like they were dreams. You know how dreams are. But this one did not feel like a dream. It felt real. In this dream, the streets felt like it was San Francisco because the hip, the, it was hilly and slopey. We live in South, Southern California. The part one dream started around where we lived in Southern California. And the second dream continued in Northern California. Well, I started singing a Christian song because I wanted to drown out the terror I was feeling. And as I was singing, I woke up and the dream ended. A few weeks later, though, I started to have what seemed like the third part to the dream. Oh, she was having a third sequel. <laughs> but I was too scared, so I asked God to stop this one. And I woke up. <laughs> I woke myself up because this time I was doing it out of fear. <laughs> now, you know, I read this before. I did this on a video. And when I finished and finished what she said, I gave my two cents. This is Pat's two cents, is that part. But when I ended the video and I played it back, something popped in my head. And I said, oh my goodness, that might be where the creatures came from. You know how people are playing with cell, the science of, of um, I, I can't think of the word right now, but anyway. They have created a clone goat or sheep or whatever. They're doing all kind of stuff in, in laboratories. What happens if they create a little something, something? They get all excited about it. But the little something, something starts growing. And then a bunch of big little something somethings enter it demonic form and now this something something with no soul is filled with demons and it's at the mercy of demons rather than the scientists and then what if this thing can somehow duplicate itself and things get out of hand i mean my mind goes into sci-fi mode you guys because we are there think about it we are there Mm. Okay, anyway, that's why we need to give our hearts to the Lord. We need to know where we stand with God. We don't need to play games. This thing is rolling up real quick. There's another dream coming from some uh, another YouTuber. And that one is just as interesting. End days dreams. I really believe God is trying to stir us up. Get most of us ready and those of us who are ready to try to talk others into getting ready. Don't browbeat them. But we all need to be ready. That's the bottom line. I'm not going to drag this on. This was an interesting dream. Thank you so much for letting your daughter share this with us. God bless you guys.